Hey folks, thanks for joining us today on another episode of Puff of Cigars and we are continuing to our series of reviews and today we are going with the Punch 48 uh, La Casa del Habano exclusive. Uh, what's good about this stick actually, uh, well let me just start by the specification. So this is a five and a half inch uh, length. Uh, we are approximately about 48 ring gauge as you can see here. And if you notice, there is two bands on this uh, on this Vitola. The second band is designed uh, to be uh, to, to basically project an exclusive product for the Habanos specialist uh, and Casa del Habano. And what's good also to know is that the Punch Forty Eight was the first to wear the newly designed secondary band, as you can see here. It took some time actually to, to, to come into the market and when it came in, uh, it actually came in in a varnish box of 10. Uh, I don't have the box, actually I do have it, but uh, I'll probably show it maybe with a picture later on, slide it into him to see it here. So this is it, this is the Punch 48 and what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut light smoke and share with you our opinion on it, so stay tuned. All right, first impression on the Punch 48. I get off. I've had it a, a, like prior to this one. The draw was good, but this one a bit a bit of a tight draw on it. But what can you do? I mean, you know, you're gonna get some of those tight draws, which is it sucks in a way, but you know what? We're gonna deal with it. Um, now, as far as 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 flavors. It's more like to the first third is more on this earthy, grassy uh, type of you know bit of, of, of citrus taste you could say. Uh, that's what we're getting with a, with, with a hint hints of pepper. It's not you know what I'm accustomed from a punch. Usually when you retrohale the punch is actually uh, it has you, you can feel the the intensity of the peppers. But in this one it's mellow. It's not as bad as as uh, I won't say bad, but it's more as uh, how can I say this? You know, it's not as peppery as as as, as a well-known punch to be. I mean, we know if you're accustomed to punch, you know that they have, they have a bit more pepper than any other brand. Uh, but this one seems to be very, very, uh, you know, you know, I can tolerate that. There's no issue there. So this is the uh, kind of a first third here. We'll we'll burn two. We'll see how it evolves to the second third, and we'll get back. to all right, folks, back with the uh, second third of the uh, Punch 48. Uh, pretty consistent. My issues are still uh, fighting with a tight draw. Uh, trying as much as possible not to tweak it, not to uh, induce it with the perfect draw. As much as a great invention, um, I try to not, you know, if I'm able to, I try not to, unless I'm really, really have to do it. I'll punch a hole in it, but if not, I, I won't do it. Uh, now, as far as, as flavors, like I said, pretty much consistent. Uh, we're still on those uh, earthy notes, which is probably one of the dominant flavors. We got some wood in there. Uh, that citrus tone of flavors is still there, and which, which funny a little bit, is more of like a sweet, sour kind of flavors that you're getting, get a bit of hints of both. Uh, and that's probably due to the, some, some sort of spices that, that I'm feeling it, maybe like some, some cinnamon type of flavors. Uh, and you know adding to it a little bit of spaces plus that citrus grassy type of notes that you're getting also into it uh, it's not bad not bad at all uh, the burn is fine uh, a little bit of uh, here on top a little bit of, of you can see a bit it got probably well, while I'm cutting it was a bit dry from the top so it kind of like you know peeled off a little bit but no issues whatsoever uh, so this is it, this is the 48, we're going through now the last third, try to finish up and see how it's going to conclude. So far it's not a bad smoke, is it one of my tops? Probably not, but still, still, a good smoke. Back with the last third of the uh, Punch 48, All right, so Transition from the second to the last third. Uh, you know, 
pretty consistent honestly pretty consistent some flavors will be more evident than others but they are pretty much pretty much the same uh, the earthy the woody uh, those spices uh, which kind of went up a bit of notch on the last third um, that sweet spicy thing mellowed down although we still feel some hints uh, here and there uh, to finish up uh, you know what, is it the best punch I've smoked? Probably not. But is it a bad one? No. Uh, it's pretty much, pretty much, uh, you know, very well, very well done, very well constructed uh, cigar. Uh, I haven't done the Isla yet, but if I were to compare this with the La Isla, uh, probably the Isla will be on another class, which soon, soon I'll be reviewing it. Uh, but uh, I can't, I can't complain. I can't complain, honestly. It's pretty much, uh, it's nice. It's a good stick. Right, I have I, I brought in a box uh, to to give it a shot. I'm aging some a little bit more to see if it's gonna change a bit more. But uh, overall, it's it's not a bad stick. But these don't expect. I mean, this is what you expect out of it: the earthy, woody, uh, some sort of a sour, sweet type of type of, of, of taste. Uh, wood, wood is dominant. Uh, not bad. Overall, it's not bad. So this is it. This is for your uh, punch 48. Uh, episode hope you enjoyed it and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon with another stick soon cheers